Hey everyone, Terry at Farmchem. In today's video presentation, we'll be going through a new product release from Farmchem, and that's the Grizzly Meter Electronics Kit. So when you're ready to install your Grizzly Electronics Meter Kit, um, what I've got set up here for you is two different manufacturers' bases that'll go on, and I, an older version of our, our meter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this one uh, it'll look similar to this. I'll get it off there. We'll speed it up through video and I'll show you the proper way to install ours. All right. So once you get all the, the screws out and you take it off, you don't need to take any of these inner screws off here or these four. You don't need to take any of those off. If it does come with a little silica packet in it to keep moisture out, leave it there. It's not going to hurt anything. Inside your meter, will be a gasket similar to this one and what you want to do is is take a soft cloth wipe any dirt or, or moisture or anything off that we are going to put that back on and reinstall it with a new meter now keep in mind that these meters can go on in any direction that works for you just because it came off in this direction you can still you can do it this way this way or this way whatever works best for you and they go back in with the same eight screws and again, either, either base, doesn't matter, and tighten it back down. Okay, and there we're reinstalled. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this display model back on here so that in the next video, we're gonna show you how to uh, calibrate them and, and how to use it and I need this on just to seal it up so it doesn't leak. Hey everyone we interrupt this video this is Terry Farm Kim. I want to show you a new feature that we added to the meter this year. Uh, when you turn the meter on you'll notice now we have the LCD uh, display and what that is is the percentage of brightness of that and that is it's adjustable as you can see we, the new feature here if you hit this button you can adjust it 40 60 80 or 100 percent for your brightness Obviously, the, the higher you have it set, the more it uses your battery. But once you get it to where you want it, just hit the power button to save it. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next step in our video here on the Grizzly meter, and we're gonna go through how to calibrate the meter. And it is one of the simplest operations in the industry. Simply power the meter on, and what we're gonna do is select the menu button. Okay, it's already highlighted calibration. So we're gonna select that. And we're gonna do a new calibration this time. And before we go much further, I do wanna mention that you should have your, your catch cylinder ready. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use a five gallon graduated cylinder uh, that we know a known source on. We're gonna fill it up. All right, so I had the valve open so that we purged all the air out of it. And now we're gonna start that new calibration. Okay, so I'm going to press the, the select button on new calibration, okay, and our, we're right now we're set to units of gallons. You can, you can go in, back to units here with the, the back arrow and select a different, if you want quarts, pints, uh, liters, but we're going to stay with gallons on this one. And since we're going to do a new one, we're going to go to next, and it's going to tell us to catch an amount. We're going to do catch a five gallon amount. And what it's going to do is it's going to count the rotations of the, the magnet in the meter and it's going to give us a, a factor for each rotation and that's how it calibrates. So now I'm just going to open it up to the flow rate that we do. And now we stop to shut the valve when we've reached our, our five gallons. Now we'll go in and simply press the select button to save that amount. And as you can see, you saw in there, it had counted 270 rotations. So it took five gallons divided by 270. That's your, your volume per rotation. That, that's how that works. So there is a way you can adjust to calibration. And I'll show you that quickly, uh, just so you know. So again, two, 270 rotations are five gallons. Um, you can adjust your counts up or down. Uh, let's say you went over a little bit on your gallonage and you want to adjust your counts or, or in a larger run you're off just a little bit. You can adjust that. 
I highly recommend redoing it in, in catching a known amount. Uh, as you mess, mess with your count, it, you can change things rather quickly and if you go the wrong way, it won't be uh, what you think you're running. So again, I recommend uh, the, the catch method and doing it that way. Okay, in this section of the video, now that we've done our calibration, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the other features of the meter. So we're gonna go to the F1 here, which is the menu button. Okay, so calibration, we already went through that. We're gonna use the arrow button and go over to additional features and select that. So the meter will come set to time out in 30 seconds, as you can see here, sleep time. So what it does is it, it goes into a standby mode, shuts the display off, so it saves your battery life, right? So it's not on all the time. And you can adjust that. You use your arrows to go to sleep time increase or sleep time decrease. If you want it shut off faster or sooner and simply selecting, it goes up in five second increments. Okay, right there we've changed it so now it'll stay on for a minute. Okay, but they do come preset um, to 30 seconds. Okay, the next feature we're gonna go to is we hit the next button after adjusting our sleep time and you can reset the daily total. Um, so if you've done multiple runs and, and you want to keep a running total for what you dispense that day, you can select it and reset that daily, daily total there. So that resets your daily total. The next button shows what the meter's total life is. What, how many gallons has run through this meter in total and that is not resettable. Now I'm gonna go back to the main screen and show you a couple things there. So when you do a run, um, it'll show counter A is what you just ran in that batch. And for it's showing 0.78 right now because we were kind of playing with it as we, uh, after we ran that calibration. But if you hit reset A, it'll reset that amount. When you do that, it saves it to counter B. Okay, and that's kind of, let's say you want 50 gallons in, in a mix and you're gonna measure it into 10 gallon containers. You wanna do five, make sure your total is there, that's what it would do for you, okay? Or maybe you're using this as your daily total. But both are resettable here. So again, when you reset A, it saves it to counter B. When you reset B, it just clears both out. And we have the, the power button. If you've set your time and you're done with it and you don't wanna have any battery draw, simply shut the meter off. Okay, this is Terry with FarmCam, that's your Grizzly Meter and your how-to instructions.